Hey guys, Ordifantis here, and this is my walkthrough of Defense Tactics 5. So there's a bunch of different things going on. Our defense is more or less the same as the last mission, just a smattering of different HP units, and we get access to the OP energy matrix once again. For our attack, we have four Tarsiers, and the Hourglass with one on it just means it's going to take one turn to construct. So that just means our opponent gets to attack first this time. For our opponent, he has access to a unit called Venge Cannon, and there's a lot of text on the unit, but none of it actually matters. All that matters for the purposes of this mission is Venge Cannon is an 8 HP unit that does 2 damage every single turn. In its back line, our opponent has Gauss Cannon, which we've seen before, and also Gauss Charges. And Gauss Charge is just a unit that does 1 damage at the cost of sacrificing the Gauss Charge. So it's a one-time burst sort of thing. And these two units also take two turns to construct for our opponent. So starting the game, our opponent is doing eight damage to us. And unlike the last mission where we blocked energy matrix over energy matrix, our opponent actually has the capacity to do over eight damage this time. He'll be able to do more than nine damage next turn. So to get maximum efficiency on blocking, we actually want to save our second energy matrix to block with next turn. Instead, we're going to just lose some of our other units. And one might be tempted at first to say lose a wall and an engineer onto energy matrix, but due to how the numbers work on this particular mission, walls and engineers are actually going to be way more valuable than force fields later on. So instead of that, I'm going to just lose my two force fields now and put the remaining four on energy matrix. So on our turn, our Tarsiers finally get to fire, and we have a couple decisions. We can either kill Venge Cannon or Gauss Cannon, but it's going to take two turns to kill either. And in this case, due to how uh, the HP per damage works, Venge Cannon is actually slightly more vulnerable than Gauss Cannon. So it's better to kill the Venge Cannons first over killing the Gauss Cannon. Uh, however, we also have the option of killing Gauss Charges, and that directly reduces the amount of damage our opponent does next turn. Unlike with Venge Cannon and Gauss Cannon, which we can't actually kill, with the Gauss Charges, uh, that, that just makes our opponent lose 3 damage, and then we can assign the 1 remaining damage to Venge Cannon or Gauss Cannon or something. However, as it turns out for this mission, that's not actually a very good use of our attack. Our focus on this mission is actually going to be to kill the Venge Cannons and we can kill a Venge Cannon every other turn. So for our first attack, we're just going to deal 4 damage to the Venge Cannon, because the Gauss Charges are going to sort of sacrifice themselves anyways. So we will be taking 3 extra damage, but this is actually the way to beat the mission. So on this turn, we are going to have to take 12 points of damage, because we didn't kill the Gauss Charges. Uh, but the defense is actually pretty straightforward. We just lose our energy matrix here, and with the remainder 7, we can lose a wall on top of energy matrix. So that defends very nicely. On this turn, we finally get to kill his first Venge Cannon, which reduces our opponent's attack to 7. And that means we can defend pretty comfortably by losing the wall in front of energy matrix. And because it takes 2 turns to kill a Venge Cannon, his attack this turn is also 7. So once again, we just lose our second wall onto the energy matrix, and that's what I mean by the walls are very important in this game. Because of just how the numbers work, we reduce his attack by 2 every time we kill a Venge Cannon. Uh, force fields just kind of are in an awkward spot where they can't get maximum absorb efficiency. Instead, uh, the engineers this time are going to absorb the extra damage because our opponent is doing 5. And once again, we're just whittling down his Venge Cannon. We have two Engineers, it takes two turns to kill Venge Cannon. So we can kill his Venge Cannon pretty much precisely, leaving us with exactly one Energy Matrix on our opponent's three damage. Which means, for us, we just get to kill all his units, and there's no way for him to break through, because he needs at least five damage. And we beat the mission. Alright, that was Defense Tactics 5. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Defense Tactics 6.